negative 100 in and negative 100 in. I'm actually surprised it's just negative 100. Surprised. What the? It's just negative 100. I don't know why the preview window sometimes opens like that. But it does. Oh, did we get disconnected? Is that what happened? Uh-oh. What? 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 Why did my chat thing... My chat thing in OBS just started taking up only half as much space, and I can only see the top of it now. That's not great. Wait, it says we've been live for two and a half hours and zero dropped frames? So what, what just happened? UPS is still ticking on my screen? Ticking. Oh, right. Yeah, I have no idea what just happened. I think, I guess OBS played up? Although not in any particularly serious manner. Is there a way I can, like, refresh this part of it without... Oh, here we go. Right-click refresh. Right-click refresh. Perfect. All right, then. A cargo rocket is raining hell on our base. Gotta love cargo rockets. Fantastic. All right, I think our spiders are ready to get back to work. Uh, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight, nine. That's really not going to be a problem. I'm pretty sure we could... Um... Pretty sure we could fit, like, a lot more of these. Although, these things are so, 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 so fast compared to everything else. Like, compared to the number of machines we need to support them. I, I doubt we'll even be, like, doubling this. But I guess, if nothing else, we could simplify the output with multiple train stops. Don't need this, actually. Okay, so... Maybe I should actually have a blueprint for these shared input stations. It's pretty easy to copy-paste them, though. Why is this... Oh, it's in the wrong spot. That should actually be over here. And... Something similar over here. We need some train stops in the middle as well. Just on this side. May as well add that signal there. Five minutes to first CME on my game. Cross your fingers. Good luck. Ben Wu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so... I do wish you could see where the cargo wagons are going to go. Just from placing ghosts for stations. That would be very helpful. we'll ever need more than a belt, or even close to a belt, uh, for these. Let's go space belt. Whoops. There, I guess. Go 
screws there. Uh, let's do some filter inserters, if nothing else, then so that we know what goes here. Oh, these are in the wrong spot. And I guess we could just copy paste that, change the uh, filters. Alright, so data of the significant variety is going to go here. Uh, insight, biological. I feel like swapping those actually. Have the one on the left be something that's more unique to this block. And then this should be a drop-off station. Uh, for tier one, we just need biological catalog and a bit of melange extract at a rate of... A th okay, we need a lot more extract than catalog. Hmm. And is it going to be the same for tier two, tier three, tier four? The bio scrubber is only 1.33 per second. Hmm. This is only 1.33 per second. This is also very slow with these two inputs. Well, 6.33. 667 is still way less than half a bell. What if we even beacon that? Oh, wow. Uh, what if we decide to speed this up later? A lot. I don't think we're ever going to go that far. Um,. Let's say we just do... what the heck is this? Speed module 6. And speed module 6. That is way over the top. I don't think we're ever doing that. Um, but let's see what it looks like. Wow. <laughs> Two belts of Vita Melange. Uh, extract, that is. And everything else is actually still really slow. Um, still less than half a belt for all of the other resources. And what would be our output rate? 7 per second. That's surprisingly low. 14 per second, 20. Okay, well, what if we... What if we do want to plan for the maximum? Let's say we do two belts of vitamelange extract. Where are we going to get our biological catalog from? Oh, I know. Um, or do I? My plan was this would be vitamin and extract and biological catalog. This would be catalog two and scrubbers. Uh, this would be regent and catalog three, and this would be catalog four and whatever else. Uh, we do have room for extra stations on the side here. I might actually put this up here so that if we ever mirror it, 
that's going to be a, a better fit. Not that it matters. Um, we also need thermo fluid in and out. I don't know why I'm trying to confine myself to half a block, really. So this is going to be a little something like this. And this goes here. It's really just the Vitamelange extract that's throwing off my plans. And it's not going to be like, or is it going to be like that for the other blocks? Uh, let's go catalog to and bio scrubber for this one. to see. Those bots are kind of bothering me. Let's get the spiders back here. Hopefully they'll get their inventory sorted out without any intervention. And... If we just make this one Vitamelange Extract, where's the catalog one going to come from? This one also needs three, so I actually wanted it to be one, two, and three on the other side. Is there anything these two share? No. Alright, so space belt is going here. We really don't need that many inserters for most of these resources, even at the maximum speed. easier to plan if I make room for everything though. So Bioscrubber and Broad comes from here. Uh, these two are already covered. This is covered. Okay, cool. We also need to figure out where the uh, junk outputs are going to go. I think we'll just filter all of these on one belt perhaps. And then this one is just going to need Vitalic Reagent and Comprehensive Biological Catalog. I could just have the either the uh, Catalog 1 or like the third product for this one from one of these outside on each side. Okay. The reason I'm taking my time on this one is we're basically going to create a template that we're going to use for the other three sciences as well. It's going to be very easy to do the rest of them. Let's do a little bit of pipe. Not actually quite well. That one, not so much. 
Maybe I could move this up here. And this can go down here. Actually, it would probably be better to do the thermo fluid output on the side or something. Uh, thermo fluid input can go wherever, basically. I don't suppose this is going to reach. Nope. Not sure where I want to put that pipe, to be honest. Why don't we do a 7 here? This can go here. And then that part doesn't work at all. Cool. I could probably live with this one. Maybe something like that. Are our spiders back yet? Yeah, we've got this problem again. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have used the construction spiders to pick that stuff up. I think the scaffolding spiders have a little bit of space to spare. Actually, everything's been deconstructed already. It's just storage space in the construction spiders that's a problem. Alright, remove everything. Remove everything. Again. Back to the storage with you. Fantastic. And then... Since it's right next to it, I think we'll do the... Uh, was it extract? Bit of melange extract. Whoa, 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 slow down. Extract, there we go. And this can just be generic, everything equals zero. We'll do um, catalogs coming in this way. Actually, I could just squeeze them through here. They're going to be very slow. So that's fine. Wait, it was two... Oh, that's catalog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do two belts of extract up this way. I don't think we need a lane balancer, though. Probably. And then 13.3 plus 3.48. I think we need more inserters to keep up with this. Potentially. Did I already copy this across? I did. Alright, so that's going to be... Well, we only need the one belt for this one. Why don't we do it this way, actually? And 
and then some underneath the fantastic. Copy, paste, flip this one. That'll give us our. Uh, I just put that there. Uh, that'll give us our significant data. How much do we need for. 3.43 per second. Okay. Even if we've got speed modules. Uh, this is tier 6. It could go a little faster, but even so, it is very slow. So we don't need to worry too much about our output speed for... Or rather, our input speed for catalogs. Uh, so that should be this one done, this one done... Then we're looking at Reagent and Comprehensive. I can't actually update these until the spiders get back. And I can't send the spiders back until the bots catch up. And the bots didn't start their journey until... Um, until the spiders had room in their inventory, so that's cool. Where is my player character right now? It's actually in orbit. Alright, cool. Why don't I head over there directly? I can do some of these things myself. Uh, which planet were we waiting to make a spaceship for? It wasn't Deadwood, was it? We've already got eight for Deadwood. Via Terra, perhaps? Uh, considering we're full on Holmanite Core Fragments, yeah, maybe Via Terra. Although... We might already be bottlenecking on the rate that we can refuel these ships. Uh, that's concerning. Plenty of fuel from here. We're not struggling to make liquid rocket fuel, are we? Not even close. So it's just a logistical issue. We've got room for 800,000 liquid rocket fuel storage here, but... And 16,000, actually, if we consider both sides of... Oh. Okay, it might help if I connect these. I don't suppose they're connected. They are connected down this way, but that's cut off from what's up the top. Uh... If I add something like this, at least for now, that'll have an impact. Oh no, that's not the impact I was looking for. Um, stop, 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 stop. Okay, we didn't get any cross-contamination, it seems. Uh, I'll just get rid of this. Let's rethink that a little bit, shall we? Unless I change these pipes, I could swap them around. And then the exact same thing would work. Bonk, indeed. Made it through unscathed. Congratulations. Uh, I can't fit this here.
we do have a train delivering liquid rocket fuel here right now. Am I requesting enough? It's 600,000 out of 800,000 that we're requesting here. It should be enough. Wait, do I need to just... This is always full. Do I just need to increase the train limit even more? I mean, this is a lot, but solid rocket fuel has a very small stack size and fluid it literally just takes a second to load. So I think this might actually be what we need to do right now. Okay. I think I would still like to flip these around so that I can put this pipe here. I have to waste a little bit of iron stream, unfortunately. And if we're really keen, we could maybe connect... Oh, that's actually really easy to do. Um, yeah, we could connect liquid rocket fuel across these two. That might help. It, it probably will help. It'll definitely help some of the time. All right, then. Uh, I'm still not seeing Holmanite in motion when I check for plate, etc. That's distressing. 7.5k, 7.5k, it's been like this for a long time. Oh, I see some powder. 1.2k. Wait, are we making? No. How much? Doesn't powder stack to 50? Yeah. How do we end up with just 1.2k here? It should have all been consumed at once. Eight point six K. Oh, did I forget what the Oh no. Uh Lofilamon? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what happened here? Sand... Oh, I simply forgot to include iridium powder in this blacklist. Yeah, I think we can just send these trains away and that'll sort itself out. Uh, so we need to patch all of our stations with that. What has happened here? Why are there 17 holmium ingots in this train before it came here? Ah. This one seems to be okay. I'm just gonna... Force these inserters to drop what they're holding. And as long as we do all that before a train comes, that should sort itself out. Construction bots will pick them up. The train will go back to the depot and get emptied there, at least in theory. I should have kept an eye on it. Where did it go? Oh, found it. Alright, so it's going to this spot in the depot, which seems to have everything in place. The fact that we had 
one cargo wagon with a few Holmium ingots in it, apparently before the train got there, to me would suggest one of our depots is still not working properly to empty the trains. But we just recently patched all of them to fix all of that. Where is our train? Maybe it went to a different depot stop. Holmium is the only one that's not in motion. It's actually there's actually no powder coming in. It's because this yeah, it's because this ship isn't taking off and getting out of the way. So fix uh, so adding all of those ways for liquid rocket fuel to get here uh, actually helps a lot. Once these tanks are full, I'm sure there's a ship waiting in orbit. Yeah, I can see Via Terra 2, I think, is waiting to drop off another 48,000 Holmanite core fragments. Alright, I think we're ready to update these guys again. Oh, I just... I messed up the color for the leader. Which one's the leader? This guy? Uh, I can't remember what change I'm supposed to make here. Oh, there it is. Okay. That might actually be easier if I have to do that again. All right. I didn't finish patching all of these, did I? What are you looking for? Glass and glass. Good. Plastic. This is not so good. You can go home empty-handed this time. Uh, and I believe I fixed these three. Fantastic. Uh, this one. Do not pick up iridium powder from here, please. I don't know where they're trying to take the iridium powder, actually. Um, since we've got the logistic... Wait. I think I see the problem. Uh, this is supposed to say... Encoded network ID 2, but it says logistic train stop 2. Well, there's your problem. So, we failed with our two layers of prevention for this. Uh, the encoded network ID was supposed to... Um, prevent certain resources from being taken there to certain other stations, including this one. Uh, I should probably make that encoded network ID 1? Question mark? No, actually. Alright, that's not as big a deal as I thought. Even so. Just patch all of those. And last but not least, this one way up here. Back you go. What are you looking for? Copper plate. It's fine. Okay. Um... There's our Holmium, finally. And how quickly are we refueling this thing? Currently the pumps are going at 1420 per second, and only 300 per second on the right side. Yep. 
will have to do. We're still perennially full on liquid rocket fuel here, which is great. Uh, maybe I should set the train limit here even higher. I mean, yeah, it's such a short... It's such a brief period of time to load or unload a train at this stop. I think it makes sense. Okay. Uh, back to orbit. We've built what we can here for the moment. Let's double check our construction spiders are ready to go. Fantastic. Get back down here, please. And I'm going to use copy paste to fill this out as much as I can. So this was going to be catalog, wasn't it? Tier 1 catalog. And that goes there. Um... This one's already set up, except for the wiring and LTN and stuff. So is this one. What was this supposed to be? Uh, we're going to have to get one more thing from over here. And this will be... Vitalic Epoxy, Extended Biological Catalogue, and I think we'll get the core fragments from the other side. Okay. So if we're doing... A tier 4 catalogue on this side. And tier 4 catalogue. And the other one was Vitalic Epoxy, which I think we can already make. Uh, it's fairly simple. Just need to do it on Nalvis for the productivity bonuses. Just gonna cut paste in order to do that. And then... That should work. Our rate for both of those things is quite slow. Uh, so just merging the minimum of fuss should be fine. Uh, maybe like this. This and merge in here. Hello, spiders. Hey, old friends. Um, so this one is tier three. We're looking for Vitalic Reagent and Comprehensive Biological Catalog. Catalog, the comprehensive variety. Copy paste that down here. Confirm that the rate for these two is quite slow. Considerably less than half a belt. Uh, especially for the catalogs. I might just leave room for two inserters, regardless. Actually, can we do it like this? Might look a little bit neater. Same thing on the opposite side. 
What the? Oh. It's gonna be ever so slightly different. That's fine, I guess. Just double check that lines up with the station, which it does. And we don't need this extra belt for this one. I think we're almost there. We just need fluid in, fluid out. Uh, we've got the fluid out down here, we've got the junk out. Do I want to do one station to provide all this stuff? Let's see. 27 bioscience pack 4 per second. If we were to go as insanely fast as this. And everything else is a 1 to 1 ratio. So if we want the other tiers we have to slow down on the other stuff. But that's fine. Um... But overall, we're looking at, like, not a whole lot of stuff. Kind of hard to quantify what would be the absolute maximum that we can get. But I think it's, I think it's 27.86, oh, plus the junk data cards, which, 83 per second. Okay. A repetitive beats. Morpheus is out. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Top right assembler has feeding belts in the wrong direction. This is true. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's a lot of junk data cards. 20 per second, 20, 20, 20. Well, this is if we go full speed ahead one day. But I, I would like to um, build for that eventuality. So maybe... Where should we do the junk data card outputs? Um, it's actually a pretty good question. We don't need these fluid pipes taking up all this space. I'm thinking something like this. I was thinking we could just have one output belt for all of the sciences come down to a train station. and then junk data cards on their own belt. Got plenty of room for that here. I s oops. I sincerely doubt we need this many inserters, but I would rather make room for them and then remove them later. Maybe a little bit further apart, actually. Wait, how much is it? Uh, 20.9 each, so it's still less than half a belt. We can just keep them close together. Uh, I mean, if we go tier 9 modules, it might not be less than half a belt. I want to attempt um, I want to attempt a build that'll scale to the very end game. Oops. 
do an underground. Can't actually reach across that. I can put the beacon somewhere else if I really have to. And I might have to. Unless this goes up here. It's going to look tacky either way. Or I could just have this go to the opposite side first. Okay. That's not going to fit very well, is it? Oh, it is. Perfect. I can live with that. And on this side. Might just squeeze this through here. Doesn't go there. Fantastic. Okay. Um, so we actually only need two belts. Rob, probably. If we end up going beyond half a belt for each of these. Well, it'll be easy to fix uh, if, if it ends up getting that insane. Um, so let's just... Let's just do a couple of belts for now. Might change that so this goes here and something similar on this side. Alright then. And last but not least is our uh, final product. Which I haven't entirely decided where it's going to go. Maybe here. What's our max rate for this? 27.867. That's actually extremely fast. I think we'll just have to not have the most consistent look for this part. On the other hand... So that is going to be final product output with plenty of room for expansion. Bio 1, Bio 4, Bio 2, and Bio 3. Yep, 
beautiful. The only thing uh, the the only thing about that now I'm thinking is uh, if we want to regulate like balancing all four of these um, we're probably going to need like a pylon going all the way to uh, the output stations. Which isn't that much of a problem. I just don't like having to do an unusual, uh, do do an, do like an exception to the rail lock, uh, if possible. Okay. We can easily expand this later, but it's going to be more than enough for our purposes. Um, we're going to... We're going to connect this to our... whoops. Not that one. Our logistic train stop input. We're going to read what the train is asking for, minus some unwanted signals, and we're going to subtract what's already in the train. Hey, what was that sound? Uh, what sound? Was it like a weird something sort of like this. Uh, okay, so times negative one. Output each. That is going to read train contents. And this one here is going to read what the train is asking for. Add those two together. Removing these excess signals, because we're probably going to do some math with that. Um, and then we need to... It's just going to be one type of item that we're loading at a time, right? Oh, that sound. Yeah. Whenever ships teleport in or leave, um, it makes that clap noise. Spaceships. This one, thank you. Uh, Hamdi, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we should probably just split that up here. And then this can go here. This can go here. this actually much better and I'm pretty sure I know how to do this already uh, I just want to double check something that's a good idea. Yeah. Well done past me. Um, so because we want to load... Because it's possible the train will be asking for multiple types of things at the same time. Um, instead of each, we're going to use anything to filter out just one of the... Uh, one of the things that the train is asking for. And we're going to output a negative for... Actually, I'm kind of surprised that works. Let me have a look at this. So we're subtracting what's in the train already. 
What is T? We're reading the train ID for some reason. I don't... Oh, there's probably like a... Don't do something unless there's a... Unless there's no train here, don't put this back in here. Okay, that's irrelevant for what we're trying to design right now. Okay, so we're reading the logistic train stop output. We get a bunch of signals for what the train is asking for. We subtract what's already in the train. And then we subtract a million for any signal that we don't want. And then we say anything greater than zero output anything input count. So, so the minus one has to go into this thing for the input, which is normally just sort of like a, an aesthetic choice, shall we say? But this time it's actually going to matter. Um, so this is actually going to go here. I feel like that's a bit easy to read. And then... Anything zero, anything greater than zero output, anything. And then we're going to say um, green wire, which will go directly to the stack filter inserter, but also touch the input to this thing. That's going to be our setting our filter. And we're going to set stack size to S. That's going to be on the red wire. Uh, each times one output S for stack size. So however many items of whichever type we're loading at the moment, um, we're going to set the stack size to that. And that should pretty much be it. Let's go bioscience one, two, three, and four. Um, I could do more chests, and this circuit would get slightly more complicated. But considering the flow, like, our max rate ever here is going to be 27.86 per second. Or a bit higher if we ever go tier 9s. So I don't think this is... Well, actually, we would need more inserters to input this. But I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Um... So I think we need to, I think we need to connect all of these by green wire. We'll throw down a pylon just to connect uh, these circuit wires here. Get rid of the copper wire connections just to keep it cleaner looking. Oh, you're kidding. Does this reach? No! Okay, how about this? Just one more little connection over this way. Okay. So, all of these are connected to each other. And they're also going to be connected to our chest. And their conditions. Uh, we've already set their filters. We're not going to be dynamically doing that. Uh, no stack size or read hand contents. This one's going to be unconditional, actually. So I didn't really need to connect that with wire. Um, wait, no. It's the last one that's not going to that's going to be unconditional. Okay, so. Uh, tier 2 science has to be greater than or equal to tier 1 if we're going to output it to the belt as opposed to into this machine. And then same thing for these two, but we're going to go... wait, what? I'm 
I'm going to swap this around actually. Bio 1 has to be less than or equal to bio 2. I just find it easier to pass that logically. 2 has to be less than or equal to 3 before we put it on the belt. And 3 has to be less than or equal to 4 before we put it on the belt. And tier 4 we always put on the belt. Fantastic. I'm actually liking this build. So we should end, obviously with the lag time of the items going onto the belt here, it's not going to be perfectly balanced, but we should get about the same amount of science uh, of each type of science in this chest. And considering they stack to 200, it's really not going to be a problem. Um, so, are we ready to just... We also need a fluid drop-off for the... I was going to say negative 273, but it's actually only negative 100 degree thermofluid. So we'll do that here as well. Um, and I'm thinking here probably makes as much sense as anywhere for that pipe to run up. Let's go for some 15s if we can. That's tragically short. Wait, what about something like this? It's actually perfect. Except we need the fluid on the other side connected as well. Uh, I might just underground this one. Let's see how that lines up well enough. Make this bit symmetrical, or as close as it's going to get. Remove this. Oh. Well, we could do it like that. That's fine. Uh, this is this is fine. Okay, nine is too too much. Seven, nine, and a onesie. Okay. I'm pretty sure the rate of fluid is going to be quite slow. 278, even at tier 6 max speed. Yeah, we don't need to worry about the shape of the pipes or pumps or anything. Alright then. I think that's just about everything. We just need to finish our stations and actually set them up with LTN. Uh, this one is going to be Vitamelange Core Fragments. We already set this one up. Feels weird to be dropping Core Fragments uh, directly into a block other than, you know, core fragment processing. Um, but I'm sure it's fine. We also need this thing to have an input somewhere. Uh, 
Maybe this would be better. Yeah, I think. I think we'll even bring this over here. Oh, but to do that. this back a little bit. Fantastic. That almost looks like it isn't there. Alright. Let's set up our uh, LTN stops. Actually, I should probably... Um, it's probably good that I didn't set up the uh, LTN stops just yet, because... Okay, this these two down here are going to be the same no matter what. Except for the name of the station. Um, I might just... Put this here, because we're dropping off as well as picking up. And it's going to be... Oops. Provide stack threshold. Something like 5. Request threshold 100k. Hold. Thermo. Fluid. Negative 100. Um, I'll just double check. We are only looking for cold thermofluid as an input fluid. Fantastic. So that can stay on already, actually. And this one's already set up correctly. Nice. And I think we'll blueprint this as our template for the other three sciences. Uh, what should I call it? I wonder if deep space science is going to look anything like it. Um, new science block. Just gonna do a red science thing here. Brain stop names. Okay, let's dump that into uh, space exploration. And I don't know where I want to keep it right now. I'll just put it there. And then we'll configure it for specifically Bioscience Three. Probably could have connected those wires before I made that blueprint, actually. Oh well. Actually, it's not too late to update it. Fantastic. Just make sure we're not including some train that happened to be coming past. We don't need tiles, either. Right, so we're looking for, uh, this stacks to 50, and I think this probably will as well, yep. Let's just say two train loads of each of these, uh, tier 1 and tier 4, and Vitalik. Actually, I, I'll set it to just a little bit more than one train load. It's not like we're going to run out of catalogs quickly. Yeah, we've got like five minutes for the next train to come if we set it at about 9k. Uh, I'm 
epoxy, wasn't it? There it is. And if we can find this entity, station name is two types of catalog and epoxy requester. Fantastic. Let's switch that on. One down, three to go. Uh, next is Vitamelange. This stacks to 50, I, I believe, yes. And so does Biological Insight. Uh, extract. Oh, uh, this one we're definitely going to want a couple of train loads of, because that's one of the few... That's like the only input here that's going to be fast. When we upgrade this. Morning, Ian Newer. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and biological catalog. What's our max rate for biological catalog? Uh, 13. Alright, so it's going to be less than half a belt no matter how much we buff this. Um, let's set that to like 10,000. Extract and insight. And away you go. This one is a tier 2 catalog and scrubber. Wait, did I? Yeah, no, that's good. Tier 2 catalog scrubber and significant data 13.9. Let's set that to like 10k. Cat 2, scrubber, and significant data. Fantastic. Just double check that wire is connected. It is. Last one. We're looking for tier 3 catalog reagent. And Vitamelange Core Fragments. Catalog Tier 3. Uh, reagent. Oops. And Vitamelange Core Fragments. There it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's pretty slow as well, so we'll set it a little bit over one train load. Yep. Okay. Uh, I would have thought there would... Oh, we already got a delivery. Tier 1 biological catalogue. I would have thought there'd be some other deliveries by now. At least some of these items. There's a holiday for this. There's a hotkey for the search field. I don't know the hotkey, but probably Control F. Uh, in D. Yes, it is. Wait, where did you get that from? Uh, I actually can't tell. As long as there's other stations with that name. I think that's just the one. Oh, wow. That is a lot of bio sludge. Um, I, I thought we were being ridiculous with this uh, scale of storage. But maybe not actually. Why don't we build some more? 
I, I thought, like, I thought if we were running a surplus of uh, bio sludge because there's some accident with how our, um, because there's some accident with how we're producing it. I'll just confirm again, this is, I'm going to set this to like negative a million provide priority for the block where we're just producing bio sludge. And maybe the same thing over here. It's already negative a hundred. Um, yeah, I thought even if there's some mistake with our production of bio sludge where we're not actually limiting it, like we do with new thermo fluid, um, I, I thought this thing would slowly fill up with bio sludge because of the sheer scale of it that was like here, but it's actually like shockingly full already. That's kind of scary. Okay. Here comes our extract. Oh, very good. Here comes our scrubbers. Here comes our reagent. Very, very good. Alright, so we should have bioscience up and running again. Um, I would like to do the same for energy. Hmm, should we even do energy in the same spot? We're going to have to expand it, like, out this way. I think it's going to be easier just to make a new block, and we'll delete the old one a little bit later. So let's head over here. What? Over here. Ha ha ha, slowly. <laughs> Indeed. You sure this is just excess bio or new product? And is delivery from here max priority? Um, that's a good point. I should set... Oh. Yeah, no, this should be positive priority. Derp. That might help. So highest priority is to take from the big storage. Uh, lowest priority is to take from the block where we only produce bio sludge. And second lowest priority is to take from here where we produce a bit of bio sludge. Hopefully that'll be sufficient. Okay, so we're going to grab our blueprint uh, over here. And I'm just going to change the name of this station first. Oh, wait. I need to do that for bio as well. It's technically not important, but... No, 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 turn this off. No, I think I might be too late. Wait. I don't know if the constant combinator was physically built yet. Uh, anyway, bio... I want to name this. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Provider. And... Negative 100. Uh, requester. And similar for this one, this is going to be energy, I think. Yeah, we're going to end up with energy and astro in about the same spot. The trains don't pick up the data cards 
and stuff that often, so I don't really... I, don't, I actually don't think it matters very much where we put these. Anyway, um, we're going to go for tier 1, 2, 3, 4, provider, and negative 100, requester. Switch that on. And change this to Astro. Oh, we've got two recipes for Astro 1, I forgot. So we've got uh, beryllium plate or no beryllium plate. Insight catalog significant data. And this one produces... This one produces twice as much for half the stuff, not counting beryllium plate. I think we're going to be a lot better off with the beryllium plate recipe. Um, yeah. Okay, so tier 2, tier 3, and tier 4. Set these ones... Tier 2, uh, Tier 4. Wait. Oh, we've got the wrong whitelist on some of the bio ones. Okay, so this should say Tier 2. This should say Tier 3. I'm just going to jump back here and correct that before I forget. Tier 2 bio... Tier 3 bio, should be fine now, and then output tier 2 if tier 2 less than or equal to tier 3, and so on. So that's both an ingredient and a byproduct, uh, which one? Oh, the bio sludge? Yes. Uh, space exploration has a lot of items that are both inputs and outputs, so handling it correctly gets really critical as your production scales up in date. Always need storage and management of when you actually produce more based on that storage. Okay, so our inputs for... Um, 69.67 beryllium plate per second. I guess we are going to be using this part of the layout uh, consistently, actually. So this will be beryllium plate. Stacks to 200. So I'll just request a couple of train loads of that. Insight goes here. Uh, Astro Insight. So I was going to set that to 10k. Fantastic. Um, it was just those two, wasn't it? And we also need Catalog 1, which is going to come in here. To log one. So we got our plate catalog. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Astro two. We're looking at sixty nine point six seven arrow frame poles per second. Um. Okay. This part actually needs to be. A 90 per second throughput. Let's go for... I don't think we can fit it facing the left, can we? 
Can we fit it to the right? I don't think so. Why don't we just... Do it like this, but... Merge it into the middle. Actually, I can put that here. Bit more snug. Come to think of it, there's no way two stack inserters can keep up with 70 beryllium plate per second, right? Well, I'm pretty sure we have room to keep up with that output. I won't bother changing the shape of it just yet. Would be fine for now. That's too short. At sixty nine per second, you need more than one belt, indeed. Oh, for the plate? Yeah, we've got more than one belt for the plate. Uh, oh. No, we don't. Oh, yes we do. Hold on. These two merge to here, and here. These two merge to here. Yeah, this is two belts. Um, okay, so what was that going to be? Narrow frame pull. Wait, this is sharing. Uh, this was going to be broad astro... And I guess, uh, aeroframe poles. But if we do it this way, we can only have one belt of aeroframe poles. Did I miss something in bio, or did we only have the tier one that was going to have something fast? 70 vitamelange core fragments per second. Very few bio scrubbers. Um... Very few reagent. Hold on. I messed this up. We need to merge these like so. Wait, why is that? Yeah, no, that's right. Okay. then. So much for our universal layout. I'm sure we can find room for this. Maybe I'll just have to use this area. So we need 70 arrow frame poles per second and everything else is looking quite slow. In that case, should I put aeroframe poles here or the other thing, catalogs over here? I think I'll do the catalogs down here, since it'll be less belt that way. And we're just going to go everything equals zero across there. And then... So that will be uh, 
we might have to make more room with the pipe if we're going to have that kind of throughput, but... Just like we did on this side, we'll have the, the catalogs coming in like so. I don't know if we're going to need this uh, station, actually, this time. So we might put the catalogs there. Let's find out. So it was a broad catalog, a tier 2. And hopefully this time, instead of going over there, they're going to just go over here. Which would fit together very nicely, actually. Alright. I'm just going to sever that for now. So we've got our poles, significant data, broad astronomic catalog, insight, and tier one. Fantastic. Tier three, we're looking at more than half a belt of aeroframe scaffold. Um, and everything else is quite slow. Comprehensive biological. Okay, so we can't have these two just sharing like that. Wait, wait, do we? Uh, so less than one belt of aeroframe scaffold. We could share a station here. No prod mods in space, indeed. Yeah, we can do um, tier 3 catalog and aeroframe scaffolding. Dayman Senpai, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Senpai, how's your stream today? Dwarf Fortress, fantastic. Uh, let's go for tier 3 catalog on these ones and aeroframe scaffold on these two. Since we can normally get 90 per second out of this thing, um, we will be able to get one belt of each. So that won't be a problem. Although, I don't know where we're going to fit it, to be totally honest. At this rate, we might have to have the pipes, like, come in at more of an aggressive angle to make more room for inserters if we ever go max speed with this thing. Um... But, yeah. We could actually do it like this. Maybe that looks a little tacky. Not very extensible. It's fine. The rate that we're going to produce for now is much lower. Uh... This goes here. Fantastic. Alright, so that's gonna go here. That'll give it give us two half belts of each resource going to these inserters. Um so far so good. And that just leaves the tier 4, which doesn't have any nasty surprises in terms of high throughput.
steady progress. Hope you have a great stream and night, my dude. Thanks, Damon. Take care. Have a good, uh, have a good night. So we just need catalog and aeroframe bulkhead for this one. Didn't we need lots of stuff for the tier 4? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do all of this in just these two. For bio, th for bio 4, we needed three different extra inputs. Uh, so bulkhead and tier 4 catalog. Even with this being um, a copy-paste edit job, there's a surprising amount of thought that has to go into it, because they made the sciences sufficiently different. How far until antimatter engines? 4 minutes 37 seconds? I think that's about right. Let's name our station here. This one's already set up. I don't think it's going to change. Astro Insight. Uh, and this one... How did we do it over here? Why don't I just copy-paste edit this one, actually? Switch this off. Uh, we're only getting two things here. What do the sticks stack to? 50. Except we need them fast. So let's just go for two train loads. Uh, aeroframe poles, that is. We could probably bump up the number of trains requested, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. And update the station name. There are free points as well. Next is... Well, I think we can switch these on now, actually. Uh, let's do this one first. So we're getting tier 1, tier 4, and aeroframe bulkheads, and they all stack to the same size. Tier 1. Tier 4. And bulkhead. Uh, I think all of those are going to be consumed fairly slowly. 7 per second. Yeah, we should have plenty of time if it drops down to a thousand. We can always change it. Tier 1, Tier 4, and Bulkhead. Quester, switch that on. And then, last but not least, we need Tier 2, Tier 3, and Aeroframe Scaffold. Broad, comprehensive, and scaffold is going to be two train loads. Update the station name. Scaffold. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so we, wait, we already have, oh, that's poles. I was going to say, we shouldn't already have significant data coming in. Although, uh, we only need biological catalog, not catalogs, uh, insights to be delivered before we finally start doing universal simulation. And where are our bio insights, I wonder. We're waiting on comprehensive right now. What's the problem with comprehensive? Comprehensive is... it's just fluid, actually. 
I probably maybe didn't confit. Oh, there's your problem. Well, there's your problem. We've got almost enough for a train load here already. We just need a train to take the thermo fluid away um, so that we can continue here. You're building your own matrix? Uh, what do you mean by matrix? Oh, universal simulation. <laughs> yeah, why not? Look at those delicious insights flowing in. We are very, very close to getting our first universal simulation. I believe this is the most efficient way we can ever get significant data. Uh, material simulation. Okay, let's have a look. Astro, energy, biological material. And then we've got higher tiers of the same thing. Uh, nanites. Oh, and then we've got like a few that use three. And then finally, universal simulation. Beautiful. So we're just waiting on what? Train is coming now to pick up the thermo fluid. It'll be a day long remembered. In you go. And simulation, not simulations, uh, catalogs continue. Fantastic. How fast are they going right now? Uh, 5.1 per second. And we're currently at 7,000. So we're looking at, um, approximately three or four minutes before we get these, uh, before we get these catalogs delivered to Comprehensive Biological Insight. And then we get our universal simulation. Who are you suspending in your matrix? Biters? Oh, that's rude. Poor biters. Okay. Uh, this is kind of exciting. Um, what's missing down here? Logistic train stop output? I don't think we need that there. Let's... Let's remove that one. What trains do we have coming? Brilliant plate. Fantastic. Uh, let's get ahead of the game and do the next two sciences. I'll send the spiders back first. So we've done bio and... Uh... Astronomic. I was actually going to do energy here. Whoops. It's not the worst place for astronomic, I guess. Um, it, it's, it's fine. So I'm just going to put a symbol there for asteroid 4. And... Did I do... I didn't update this one. Bio 4. And then, and then, and then, and then. Didn't you have some changes queued on the Bio 4? Uh, yes. Just swapping some belts around. Um, because we had to merge these to to preserve things being on the correct side of the belt instead of merging them like this. That would be for Bio 3, which I think we've got plenty of. 
over here already. We've got... I, I was gonna say 16k, but that might be completely wrong. That's bio 2, is it not? No, this is 2. Yeah, we've got 3. We've got a lot of bio 3 here. I'm not too stressed about fixing that just yet. Um... Okay, so energy sides. I might just put it right next to the uh, Astro, even. And if there's something that needs a particularly high throughput, if, if there's any kind of struggle based on location, we can always have shuttles bring those resources right next door. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Wait, are you stuck? Uh-oh. What? Oh, no. I, I didn't think this would actually happen. Because I set it up so that we could put three train loads of cable in here and allow three trains to come. Um, the shuttle actually left at, like, the perfect time to not keep all of this balanced. Why is there stone and glass here? Oh, the bots probably took it from the spiders? No, I don't think we've walked through here any time recently. Also, there's glass... Uh-oh. Did I forget to whitelist this stuff? I did. Okay, so sand, holmium cable, glass, and stone. Um, glass, and stone. Alright, please stop dumping all of that. Um, into the trash. Hold me in cable, though. We've been trying to get Holmium flowing properly for a while now. Um, you are about to take off. I should probably make it a bit less strict as to how full the tanks have to be. Yeah. I think we'll make that the norm everywhere else as well. Because the, the more full the tanks get, the slower they get filled up. To the point where they'll actually keep ships waiting. I don't know if we have to worry about um, Ion as much. Let's see, this is 396,000 out of 400k. So this is 99%. And this is... 99% actually. That's perfect. Alright then. Where are we now? Let's head over to make a new block. This will be for energy science. Maybe I shouldn't put them right next to each other if certain resources are actually going to need high throughput. But I don't really want to use the exact same location as before. I think I'll just put it up here. It's pretty close to a bunch of energy science anyway. What does energy science require? Um, holmium plate, as expected. Holmium cable, as expected. Solenoid. Yeah, I think we'll have... If it comes to that, we'll have a drop-off for those things nearby. So I'll put it up here-ish. Let's place another block. 
aqui. Oof. EPS down to 25. We're getting there, though. And we've also got a lot of stuff that we can still optimize. Let's bring the construction spiders as well. I might just... Oh, I didn't place it yet. I was going to say I'll remove those tile ghosts for now. I didn't make a new build for particles yet, did I? I'm, al I'm almost a little surprised we're still keeping up um, with Ion Stream. This is the only place we're making it still. Oh, nope, there's a new build. Wait. I copy-pasted it? What? When did I... I thought I... I thought I made another build with this with beacons or nothing, not copy-pasted it. Oh well. It's probably fine for now. So this is going to be energy, and then we need material. Material's going to go here, I think. Fantastic. And we're waiting on the scaffolders. Okay. It's going to be a minute before that train leaves automatically. Holmium cable. Oh, I didn't set these yet. That's fish. Holmium plate. By fish, I mean we're not using that block yet, actually. Uh, Holmium plate goes here. So we do have shuttles for all three of these. All right, the fact that I'm seeing seeing this stuff flowing right now is a good sign, at least. Oh, the spiders must have reached their target. So we're getting uh, 129 holmium powder per second. Some of these ratios might be a little bit off since we're on tier 6 modules. The crushed holmonite is very slightly negative ratio. Negative 2 out of 63.64. Okay. So we're pretty much getting the maximum here. Probably about 125 holmium powder per second. Which translates into how much? Uh, let's have a look at the recipe. 10 powder makes 1 ingot times 1.4. It's going to be a while before we can afford productivity modules for the uh, furnaces. But that would go a long way as well. Let's say it's 125 per second, uh, divided by 10, 12.5 ingots per second, times 1.4, 17.5 ingots per second, and we need 8,000 to trigger a delivery of that. Um, so we're looking at about... Eight minutes, let's call it. We should be getting ingots delivered here about every eight minutes. Doesn't feel like that's what's been happening. Uh, how much plate have we been making? All me plate. 
Uh, it's been surprisingly consistent. 2.6k per minute. Except that would include the old blocks. Where are they? These ones? We've got two of these. Did you build your own computer? Uh, if by build you mean buy the parts and put them together, yes. Where are we? What was I doing? Oh, that's right, we need... Uh, we've done energy. No, we... We did astro instead of energy, now we need to do energy. Alright. This blueprint is still a pretty good place to start. How fast is your RAM? Uh, the RAM is 3200 megahertz, but it's bottlenecked a little bit slower than that on this motherboard. Which I probably wouldn't have picked if I'd realized just how important that is. Uh, it's something like 2933 or something like that. Wait, you didn't etch your own circuits? Yeah, no. Nah. I did muck around with uh, NAND to Tetris a long time ago. Although I, I didn't like go all the way through or anything like that. Alright, let's make sure we get this right. This is supposed to be energy. Not Astro. Energy. 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 Fantastic. Okay. Energy one. Energy one. Uh, energy two. This should actually be tier 2, tier 3, and tier 4. Tier 2 less than tier 3, tier 3 less than tier 4, and tier 1 less than tier 2. And this one's unconditional. Fantastic. Uh, RAM speed is very important for Factorio. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, upgrading the RAM that I did have made a significant difference. I watched someone the other day that had his BIOS settings lower than the RAM speed. Changed that and gained 20 UPS. Uh, what BIOS settings? BIOS settings lower than the RAM speed. Oh, we've got a train coming here already. I can't update the station name just yet. Alright, so which of these is going to give us a nasty surprise? Holmium plate, 69.67 per second, just like... Um, just like beryllium plate. Uh... And this one? 87 point... Wow. 87 Holmium cable per second. So really, I should have gone for the... So so we started with the exception to the rule, it looks like, by starting with Bioscience. In his bias, the RAM was set to 1600 megahertz. XM pre profiles for the RAM, presumably. Yeah, I think I set that manually, just to be absolutely sure. Um, but the motherboard slightly slows down the RAM. By about 10%, actually. Okay, we're looking for Holmium Plate. And... What, uh, what does it stack to? 100... Let's go for 32k, two train loads.
This is already set to everything. Fantastic. Insight is... Insight. And then... That's already set generically. Fantastic. Uh, this one is actually just about ready to go already. So let's turn that on. Oh wait, no. We need insight. In the same station. And I'll update the station name as well. Fantastic. Alright, next is... Uh, once again, we need to change this so that we can get the full throughput. So this will be Holmium Cable. This will be Generic. And I'll just cheat a little bit with what we already designed over here. Except I don't want to copy that recipe. Fantastic. Um, so we just need significant data and Holmium Cable. Significant data and station name, Omnium cable and significant. Fantastic. We can switch that on now. Uh, what else? It also needs broad energy catalog which I think we will probably be getting from here. Not quite see, there we go. Just have to change that to uh, energy. And this part's generic, and this will go here. Cool. That one's done. Uh, tier 3 is going to need solenoids. Wait, did we actually get everything for tier 3 down here? Yeah, we did probably going to be a similar rate. 34.83 for Everframe Scaffold, 34.83 for Solenoids. Okay, cool. Uh, let's not make this mistake again. And I think I'll just copy this part. Previous time I built a computer in 13, XMP didn't exist yet, as far as you remember. Indeed. There's a lot um, that changed between my last two computers. Initially had some RAM in the desktop that wasn't marked as compatible by the manufacturer of the motherboard that led to complete shutdown. RIP. Including a necessary BIOS reset as soon as I enabled SM XMP. Ouch. Uh, this part doesn't look quite right. Let's maybe try that again. Without 
wrecking this part. Alright, cool. And we just need that to be comprehensive energy. And I think it was solenoid. And this part will have to be specific. Comprehensive energy on this side. Solenoid on this side. Copy paste that down. Uh, and that leaves tier 4. Uh, tier 4 is looking for quantum processes. Quite slowly. In fact, everything is nice and slow. Okay, cool. So, just extended catalog and quantum processes here. Where are quantum processes? There they are, right after solenoids. Okay, so extended energy catalog. Once the map finishes saving. Nice to have a reasonable autosave time again. This needs to be specific. And this needs to be specific as well. Um, okay. What is this? This is tier one energy analog. And this part's generic, so we don't need to edit that. I think that's everything. It's getting smoother every time. And we've only got one left to go. Uh, but first I need to actually set up the stations. That would probably help. Alright, so starting with... Actually, the easiest one, because they're all the same stack size. Uh, tier 1 catalog. Tier 4 catalog. And quantum processor. We are making those, but we're making them in the mall. Um, we're not making them at scale just automatically over here so that we can make quantum computers. So we might... I, I imagine the block that we'll need to to make those is going to be quite small. In fact, probably we could even have the prerequisites for it dropped off here, and we'll just build those right next to, um, right next to energy four. Do we need quantum, uh, process, do we need them anywhere else? Quantum processor. At what scale do we need them elsewhere? Energy shield, that is a mole thing. Science packs are going to go here if we don't have need for them at scale elsewhere. Quantum computers, this is already happening in the mall. Uh, hello. Arcosphere Collector. Collects arcospheres from the interstellar void, must be launched from a space probe. Uh, this looks like something that's really expensive. And then we only need 10 quantum processors. I wonder if the mole could handle it already. Um, one quantum processor to make a black deep space splitter. Lol. Okay, so there's going to be like a few versions of that. I think. Or is it 
some other recipe that changes the color. Dimensional Anchor uses a star's gravity well as a stabilizing point for a spatial anomaly. I imagine we uh, won't be making those at scale. We can just let them all handle that. Uh, dynamic emitter. Okay, that looks like it's going to be high throughput. Or somewhat high throughput. Naquim processor. That looks complicated. We only need one quantum processor for it, though. Uh, there's a different recipe for Naquim processor. I, oh. They, they output different amounts of these two. Okay. Radar construction pylon only takes four. This is a mole thing. And shield protector... That's a lot, but this is still a mole thing, I would say. So what things make us consider putting it in the rail network? Um, not a whole lot. Dynamic emitter. What does that go into? Energy shields, arcosphere collector, arco link storage? Is that what I think it is? A container linked by extra-dimensional space to other containers. The links of the container depend on the surface it is first placed on. Interesting. Dynamic emitter. Nanomaterial. We're probably going to need that at some sort of scale. Wide area bacon too. Armor, armor, heat exchanger, heat, okay, data. All right, so we're definitely going to need it at scale at some point. I think I will just have uh, this delivered by train station in that case. Um, also, I made this mistake here as well, which probably means I made that mistake... For all of our builds? E yes, indeed. Okay, that's going to need fixing. We just need to merge that like so. We just run some... Belt here. And then and then and then and then. What do we have here? Insights are on the way. Did we get our universal simulation? We did. I'm a little sad that we missed seeing it get started. Why is... Why is this blocked? Oh, you're kidding. Wait. I missed a couple of pieces of belt. Oh, okay. Well, that's an easy fix. Uh, I've actually got some... I do not have some belt on me. I'm gonna... Pick that up. Turn off my robot port and do. Spiders can replace that. And I'm going to run the speedy spider all the way down here. And we're going to fix that ourselves. Missed one more piece too. Wait, what? No! Okay. Uh... I probably shouldn't have been so specific picking up that belt. I'm just going to steal a stack. And... Yoink. 
Alright, let's head down there. Make sure we don't walk over any... Uh... Shuttles while we're at it. Check W, indeed. Uh, here's our insight. Beautiful. And then... Why did I make this look so different? Oh, because of where this was. That's fine. Alright. Who dares deliver... Holmium plate. Fantastic. It's going to be a minute before we get our significant data. Same goes for Holmium cable. How's Holmium doing down here? I really thought uh, after these builds that we would be doing a lot better, but various things have kept the Holmium one not in motion a lot of the time. Holmium. Last hour. Blue is powder. So that has increased significantly. I think. Oh yeah, that's our powder there. So there was a big spike when we started. And then it stopped and we're back up to this level. Drug eggs? I marinated Korean drug eggs, aka mayak gear run overnight, and now cooked rice with the marinade. Smells delicious. Sounds delicious. Uh, why is this blocked? Oh, because it's just balanced. Because something else has run it. There's no water? Really? Maybe I need to add a pump to this build. Wait. We're deleting water. No, we're making steam. Okay, that makes sense. Um, that's weird. I tested this and it didn't struggle for water. Although it was testing it with an infinite water supply right here. Um, I don't see a train coming though. I might just tap into the water that we've got here for these builds. Yeah, I think um, it might be okay though if I just increase the request for water at these places so that the train comes a bit earlier. Oh, that should not say a hundred thousand. Unless we're net positive on water in this build. Oh, we are. Okay, that's cool. But yeah, this only consumes, uh, let's see. 700 water per second. That's a lot more than I thought, actually. And that's 800. Okay, then. Water should be on its way. There it is. I might just get the construction spiders um, to head over this way. So this one, we definitely don't want to feed water because it actually net produces it. Um, there should be a... Oh, that's right. I actually set the train station to get rid of the water. Not the worst idea at all. Since it's a very slow net positive rate. These two, however, uh, I think it would be good to just barely not reach across there. Sad. I think it would be good to add some offshore pumps somewhere. We can do it down here. It's almost perfect.
close enough. I think I've got the construction spiders carrying uh, offshore pumps. I hope so. And send them back to the mall. Um, Alright, let's turn on our RoboPort. And that should get the blank data cards flowing again. And lots and lots and lots of significant data. Fantastic. And there's that lovely yellow glow. So how fast is this again? 47.513 uh, significant data per second. That seems like a lot for significant data. How fast would one of our science builds go if we're actually going tier 6 modules? Only 13.93 per second. So this could support almost all four of them going at full speed. Yeah, almost. Alright, let's head back to the mall for ourselves. That's a lot of supercomputers, indeed. I'm sure it'll be enough. And the fact that we're getting insight from all four types is a very good sign in terms of telling us that all of our science is working. Okay, let's remove that again. Um, I don't, did I finish configuring this one? I didn't switch that on yet. Tier 1, Tier 4, and Quantum Processor. Go. Fantastic. Chromium plate and insight is already on the scene. Uh, we've already set up significant data and holmium cable. And last but not least, we need to set up tier 2 and 3 and holmium solenoid. Okay. And I think we'll be doing... Uh, just like 9,000 for the tier 2 and 3. And Holmium Solenoid. We need... Uh, a couple of train loads. Since it is going to go fast. Wait, no. Holmium Solenoid is... Well, it's relatively fast for this place. Cable is much faster. Okay. Uh, and this station is... Whoops. A provider of energy tier 1, energy tier 2, energy tier 3, and energy tier 4. And then it is requesting negative 100 thermofluid. Nice. Um, are those trains still stuck there? Yeah, they are. Maybe I should just send this one on its way. On the other hand, where are you going with that? Yeah, that's all going to get merged together, so it doesn't matter if this is uneven. Okay, then. Uh, so this is... Let's send the scaffolding spiders back home. And probably the... Well, the construction spiders need to 
patch this up, and they also need to patch the bio signs. Uh, let's add a tag. This is energy science 4. Also, while we remember, let's... Oh, I already did, apparently. Switch off all of the inputs for... I didn't remember all of them. But just one is enough to make it stop. Uh, switch off all of the inputs for the old energy science. And same goes for Astro. If I can remember where I put it. Looks like I've done the same thing here. Disabled. Working. Okay. And what about the old bio? Oh, I destroyed the old bio. Replaced it with this one. And... Mechanical sites. Switched off already. Probably forgot the side ones. Not that it matters a whole lot. Cool. Spiders are stuck because I didn't look where they were going. Fantastic. And then... Let's put that here. Uh, this can stay, actually. This goes here. And we need to clean up what's already on the belt. Okay. Is this all correct? Or did we forget to add something to the blacklist? Plate of Holmium. Do not shove into here, please. And I'll add a symbol for that before I forget. Holmium plate goes here. Here. Haven't set this one up yet. Okay. Um. Oh, we need to deconstruct this belt. Back it goes. This one's already fine. That should be everything for this block. Did I name this? I did. Let's head over to correct bioscience. And last but not least, we need to do... Material science. Probably should have done that sooner because we've got the tier 4 cards just... Uh, the tier 3 cards, rather, uh, that we haven't taken advantage of before, just waiting to be used. Although I'm surprised how few ballistic shielding data I'm seeing here. There's no testing packs. Still. Uh, that's a worry. We've got only a few explosion shielding data. Oh, we have actually been delivering those over here at least. Friction and ballistic. Okay. And then we don't have enough for explosion or radiation, apparently. Only, only 644. And once again, it's because we're missing testing packs. I thought we had a lot of... We, we do have a lot of testing packs. What? 
Okay, we have had trains pick this up, otherwise the inserters wouldn't be sticking out. Oh, that's probably... Hold on. What? Why is there 98 material testing packs? Is this because the bots pick up four at a time? And they actually won't, like, overfill this? It is. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. Um, but I'm just gonna... I, I find it a little frustra- oh, that's not good either. What are we supposed to have here? Heat shield, LDS, testing pack, and explosives. I really need to remember this step. Uh, heat shielding. Uh, LDS. Testing pack. And explosives. Just check that a train isn't looking for one of those and I haven't defined it yet. Um, yeah, so... Because... There's research that allows the bots to carry multiple items in one go. Um, you have to start watching out for them overfilling a stack if you're trying to really use up all of your all of your space for different inputs. Where was a good example here? So all of these are set to three less than except for this one. Uh, all. all Oh, this is 50. Yeah, these are the requests down here. That's actually a really good example. So because the bots will bring up to three extra items uh, each time they deliver something, if we want to limit to only carrying one stack of each thing, unless the stack size is one or something, uh, we need to we need to request three fewer than that stack size. Um, but it turns out, if you are limiting what can go in a chest like this, the bots will actually stop. I I'd never actually seen this before, and it looks like it's a very low probability of happening for some reason. But a but this had like, what was it, two items missing. And the bots didn't bring more until I removed the restriction on the chests. So that's a little bit uh, unfortunate. I wonder if the same thing happened with explosives here. It looks like it's completely full. Yeah. We were bottlenecking on explosives before, but I think they're fine now. Well. I'm definitely going to make sure we set the provide stack threshold to 160. For these from now on. Let's make sure that we've done that in other places as well. That's 480. Uh, up here. 160. 160. Oh, 480. I, I haven't found another example yet where the bots haven't completely filled that last stack. This... this is a bit weird. Maybe it only hap maybe it has something to do with testing packs having such a small stack size. I don't see why that would matter, though. Hmm. 
Well, uh, that should get our material science going again. Where are you headed with that? Explosives. Shouldn't they also grab a smaller stack if fewer items are requested? You would think so. Okay, so testing packs have some catching up to do, but it seems like uh, Material 3 is continuing other than that. Let's fix this one. Uh, this goes here, this goes here. Why don't we have bio... Oh, we don't have these two built yet, that's why. That makes sense. As for this one... Uh, that looks like kind of a weird layout. We're only needing 14 per second. This is the first one we did. Okay. Let's send our construction spiders back to get emptied. And I think we decided here was going to be our uh, our bioscience, oh, not bio, uh, mechanical science, since this is where all of those blocks are. All right, we're getting there. One little fix and build at a time. How's our throughput for... Did we fix rows? I think we did. What about Via Terra? Our precious Pulmonite. It looks like it's trying to take off. How much fuel does it need? Just a little bit more than this. Are we losing liquid rocket fuel here, or are we keeping up? I wonder. What PCB, uh, PC specs are you running this on? Uh, let's see. CPU ID. Uh, CPU Z. I keep forgetting the name of the chip, or at least I remember it, and I'm not confident I remember it. Uh, 10700F, I'm gonna say. Let's see. Yeah, Intel Core i7 10700F. Uh, memory is. Uh, I forget how much. Where is it? 16 gig. I think it's clocked at like 2933 or something. It's actually bottlenecked by the motherboard. And the graphics card is not too exciting, um, but it gets the job done. Graphics card's not too important for Factorio. Let's head over to our new build. Hopefully I'm not going to have to do the empty and then refill dance with the spiders. Thank you, no worries. Uh, yeah, I did upgrade it, um, but I'm pretty sure RAM is still the bottleneck um, for Factorio with this computer. Not much I can do about that unless I'm going to replace the board, which I'm definitely not. It didn't run particularly great with the GTX 760 on my old desktop. Hmm... Well, I think they upgraded the graphics to some extent, um, but I, I, I'd never seen it bottlenecked on a graphics card, is all I can say. 
Do you just add blocks to the space base as needed? Indeed. Just like we're doing now. The nice thing about blocks with uh, space exploration in particular is all of these uh, side outputs you can just throw back into the rail network. And with LTN, you can give them different priority levels. I couldn't enable biters or it'd crawl. Ouch. Uh, how are our construction spiders? Looking good, actually. Let's bring them down this way. And I think I'll actually probably start with our most recent build as a jumping off point. Only trouble is I need to make sure I switch off the uh, constant combinators with haste. And the bots are going to drop those at random intervals. Okay, that's already switched off, actually. I need to double-check that one at our last build. Disabled, disabled, disabled. And... Disabled. This one can stay on, that's fine. Um... So was this not switched on? It was not switched on. Oh, and I didn't give the station a name yet. Uh, let's go with... Uh, it's tier 2 and 3, isn't it? Catalogs. 2 and a 3. And solenoid. Fantastic. Is the S, is this SE only, or do you have some other mods? Uh, I do indeed. Here they are. If I've kept that up to date. Mostly just quality of life stuff plus space exploration. If I was going to do it again, I would definitely include um, the big containers from AAI, and probably loaders to be honest. If only because they're going to. Um, save some UPS. I've had some fun with problem solving some complicated complicated circuits to load precise numbers of different things into trains and stuff. Uh, but ultimately it does get to the point where, okay, that's a solved problem and all of these chests and inserters and circuits are adding up uh, to the UPS cost. Mini loaders don't save UPS, they drain it, really? Internally, it's two inserters. But don't inserters, like, if they're taking from a container to another container, it's way less UPS intensive than, like, picking up from a belt. They, they don't have to, like, figure out what they can do picking it up or putting onto a belt, that sort of thing. Can loaders work on trains? I've seen some mods that, like, you could basically have, uh, like, four big things that go on top of the, uh, cargo wagons. It's just, like, one gigantic container that I think automatically puts stuff into or takes from the train. As opposed to having up to 12 inserters. And chests for each cargo wagon. Okay, so last but not least is mechanical science. Material science. Uh, we don't have the tier 4 yet. I guess I'll just leave that there. Actually, did it? Okay, that's fine. Uh, material 1, material 2, material 3... 
And I guess for the moment, we're not going to be able to say material 3 is less than or equal to material 4. So... I could just... I think since I'll have to come back here and make some change regardless... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I, I almost did that wrong. Okay, what I'm going to do here is a constant combinator with a red wire connected just to this inserter so that we're not reporting to LTN that we've got imaginary stuff. Um, and I'm just going to put... Uh, material 4, a million, 10 million, whatever, it doesn't matter. And I'll be able to set this uh, correctly to begin with. Material Science Pack 3 has to be less than or equal to Material Science Pack 4. Material Science Pack 4 will be unconditional. 1 has to be less than or equal to 2. And 2 has to be less than or equal to 3. Before we output it onto the belt, that is. Right, so we need Iridium Plate. Probably a lot, yes. This goes here. Probably should have copy-pasted that. Uh, we need Material Insight. We need uh, Significant Data. We need a lot-ish of heavy girder. And we also need tier 2, we'll probably get from here with the same pattern we've been using. I mean, for, head for heavy girders, this is a lot, but in terms of what goes on the belt, this is not that fast. Um, so this one would be to catalog this one I thought we would need 69 of something physical for a second there but no uh, bearings and tier 3 nice and slow it's actually just a little bit under half a belt Not that it matters with the layout that we've already got here. Um, let's make that comprehensive catalog. This is already generic. This side I need to update. Heavy bearing specifically has to be empty. Comprehensive material. And just copy paste that up here. So far, so copy paste. Uh, next we need, well, we need the catalogs for, um, for tier 1. That's going to go here. Is tier 4 going to, oh. I can't, I can't find out if tier 4 is going to give us some surprises in terms of throughput, uh, until we actually unlock it. Rude. Wait, I should check if there's anything I urgently want. I don't think there will be with material. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I want, but... Um, I, I think I would like to unlock Material Science Pack 4, just so that we can finish this design sooner. Loaders work on trains? I thought other loaders were UPS intensive. Mini loaders is best because they're basically inserters requiring no extra code to run. Loaders work on trains. Cheap say meh? 
good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, also, scale the summit. Entrasida. And Darth Lightly. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, can I just look at the recipe, perhaps? How can I... With FNEI, I guess. Okay, so... Energy 4 is 30 seconds. I'm guessing they are all 30 seconds. Uh, wrong one. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. We're looking at 111 always and 6. And only two heavy composites, that's going to be really slow. Yeah, I think this is going to be no problem at all. Um, energy was basically the same, only one quantum processor. Same, It's the same layout as Astro, which we didn't have to do anything special for. Alright, cool. Uh, so it, what, let me just double check this. Heavy composite is what's going to go here. We can put this, uh, signal here even before we've researched that. Tier 4 catalog goes here. And... Heavy, whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Uh, heavy composite on this side of the belt. Fantastic. Just have to change the filters on these inserters. The other side is generic. Uh, this is already set up, except for the requests. This is already set up. This is already set up. Fantastic. Uh, all we need to do now is update the stations. Material 1, and 2, and 3, and a 4. Catalog number one, catalog number four, and heavy composite. Oh, that was surprising. Catalog one, catalog four, and heavy composite, which does indeed stack to 50. Fantastic. One down, three to go. Uh, Holmium plate. This is iridium plate. It only stacks to 40. Um, but we could fit 7.2 train loads here if we want to. And it's going to have the same rate as the other stuff. Although that was two train loads because the stack size is 100. Whatever. This is fine. Iridium plate, 32k. Um, material Insight 10. Okay. Update station name. And Insight. Beautiful. Um, okay, so this one... Oh. Quest stack threshold. 160 equals a long train. Got, uh, two train loads. And we can switch that on already. Once I change the station name. Fantastic. Did I update this one? Yeah, good. Last but not least, 
Uh, we need two tier, tier two and tier three of catalog. And then uh, bearings, actually. And last thing we need to do here is update the station name. Bearing. Okay, that's actually it. Uh, that is maybe the final build for our our four main sciences. Um, space sciences. We add a tag to this. I'm just going to put the material for tag already, since that's what this is going to be. And we should see some trains coming to deliver this stuff relatively soon. How are our other science places looking? We've got the insight, we've got the uh, significant data, we've got tier one, we're missing broad energy catalog. Unfortunate. We're also missing comprehensive energy catalog. And chromium solenoid. Okay, energy science is looking a bit upset. Um, extended, we haven't produced yet, so don't expect that to work. And we did get some energy science here already. Oh. I just realized I need to add this uh, constant combinator to all of our builds um, until we actually can produce tier 4, otherwise it's not going to output any more than a tiny amount of each type of science, which, as we've set it up, won't be enough for the trains to come collected. Okay. Uh, is there anything else we need our construction spiders to do? Doesn't look like it. Quicker if I go visit those blocks to just place a single combinator. So I think now all we need to do... Uh, the only thing stopping us from seeing our new science is certain items. We're not getting the throughput that we want to see. Material was bottlenecked on nothing but testing packs. Oh. It would probably help if I switched this back on. I switched it off because I had to fix something. So, ballistic shielding data we're probably going to see again soon. Uh, explosive is flowing. And radiation shielding is waiting on testing data again. We just can't seem to... Oh, I should probably increase the number of trains that are allowed here. That would probably help. I didn't mean to set it to six, though. Okay. Now then. So that should be material flowing. Uh, we need to connect this to here. It's actually going to be uh, bio 4 that we're pretending that we have. Cargo rocket has crashed again. Beautiful. 
Did any of it get to the uh, landing pad? I think not. Okay. Uh, let's head over to the next one. waiting on testing packs. We just can't move them fast enough. Maybe I should have another drop-off for testing packs. Probably not the worst idea. Uh, how close are we to actually... Okay, I don't think we're at all close to moving them as fast as we can produce them. Um, testing pack. We're allowing five trains to drop this stuff off. And this is full. Don't tell me we actually need more shuttles for them. Oh, we've only got two, so yes. Uh, Alright, let's get the ship builder over here. Where are you going with... Oh, good. Okay, cool. I remember we got the ship builder to build a few ships earlier, so it probably needs a resupply. I'm gonna wait until... That was quick. Wow. Okay. I was going to say we're bottlenecked on just literally just pumping the fuel back into the brick shuttle, which we are right now, but it'll still help to have two more. Like having them queue up. It, it, it'll buy time for the other two shuttles to come down here and fill up their fuel. Okay. Where are we? We need to pretend that we've got lots of astrocytes for... And last but not least, we need to pretend that we've got lots of energy signs for Androceda. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right. Products finished 19, products finished 0. Catalog 3. Oh, there's so many points of... There's so many points where these things can break. Blue Catalog 3, you say. Uh, it's actually being produced right now. Cool. Let's connect this to... Uh, here. And this is supposed to be energy four. Fantastic. So we'll remove those once we can actually produce tier four sciences. Which, now that we've set all of this up, uh, all we have to do is actually produce the cards, and then remove that combinator once we're once we're ready. Well, I mean, technically, 
even if we don't remove that combinator, we will still produce tier 4 signs. It just, uh... It just won't get balanced or prioritized. Let's go back to the mall. All of our insight seems to be saturated. Except for bio. Well, there's still a lot of it in storage here. Bio 3, do we have any problems with you? There's no bioelectric data. It's probably just... Still trying to catch up with the uh, significant biomass. And we're waiting on... Experimental biomass this time. Which is waiting on bioculture. Which is waiting on... Nothing? What? Uh... We're not short on trains, are we? We're definitely not short on trains. Hmm. This is another one of those things that makes me think LTN has gone to sleep, but then I'll eventually figure out it was something else. Where was it? Over here. We have zero. We are requesting 3.2k. It's a stack size of 5. Which is 640 stacks, which is 4 train loads. Uh, and we have the maximum 7.2 train loads of experimental bioculture available in this station. Provide stack threshold 160. Train limit 1. If there was a train coming here to deliver bio sludge, I could see that delaying it. But there isn't, at least, unless this light is bugged, which does happen sometimes. Uh, but we are sending that signal to LTN. We've got 5.7k. Experimental bioculture. It is the same thing. Hey ho, how are you? Can I watch part one anywhere? Uh, I'm sorry, reuse. Uh, I didn't start archiving it that far back. My apologies. I've eaten quadruple portion of salmon Wellington. Food coma approaching. <laughs> nice. Um, quadruple portion. I hope they were small portions. Um... Yeah, I actually have absolutely no idea why a train isn't being scheduled to pick this up. Provide stack threshold 160. There have been reasons before, but I end up realizing something like Oh, I forgot the stack size for Uranium-235 is not 50, it's 100. But this one has been working for ages, and I haven't touched it, and now the trains are just not delivering it? Like, what? Can I bump up the priority? That shouldn't make a difference. I'll try it. Oh, that was quick. So why, why, why is it that we've got one, two, three, four trains that we can see at a glance waiting to do something? And then the moment I bump up the priority, that gets done. That seems a little strange. It could be the case that we need more trains, but I would... I would not expect to be seeing... Oh. 
these these four are on manual. Did I build these and forget to activate them? Well, we, we got ourselves some new trains. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Ah. Okay. Alright then. I should think about dropping in another depot and adding some more trains as well. Well, that is not the problem that I expected to find uh, for bioscience. Salmon and spinach and cream cheese in puff pastry. That sounds nice. Photo in the Discord. Indeed. I almost typed Doscord. There we go. Okay. Uh, Universal Simulation is still purring along. We're actually half... We've actually half filled these chests already. I guess it's gonna calm down a bit when other bottlenecks keep things waiting. Alright, so there's our energy two. Uh, fantastic. We're just waiting on comprehensive three to get energy three going again. Did I change the train limit here? I did not. I don't think it's necessary. Comprehensive. Is still waiting on superconductivity. Which is still waiting on holmium cable. Okay. Which is actually on its way right now. Unless it's stuck. Which it is, because I haven't defined this over here yet. What? 8001. Holmium cable. Holmium cable. Negative 8000. What? Huh? Oh, it's actually... Yeah, it's supposed to be the amount that fits in a train, negative, minus one. Negative 8,001. Negative 8,001. Why are we only receiving the negative? Minus 61. What? Uh, excuse me, what? Oh, we're 61. We already put that there. We're 61 short. Why did the train come to pick up Holmium? Okay, I should set the provide stack threshold higher here. I was going to say, why did the train come up to come to pick up Holmium cable if... If there wasn't enough... I mean, come to think of it, that still should have worked. I guess there was 200 stacks at the time, and then we consumed some of it on something else. There's your answer. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of eager to see some... Material Science 3. Can we... Do we not have Iridium Plate? Since when? I've actually... I know we have lots of... Okay, we need more trains. I think. We definitely need more trains. Uh, I might just add a depot right here, to be honest. Uh, okay, I'm gonna personally request... Locomotive... How many trains should we make? Probably about as many as we can carry. Let's go five at a time. Um, ten, please. 
and 40 of these. I guess I could put it here. Uh, I want it closer to the... I want it a bit closer to... Oh, let's put it right here, actually. Right next to the pickup door. They're actually going to have to go around this way a bit. But still, um, putting a depot as close as possible to the testing pack pickup is going to help a lot. We've already got one fairly close, but closer is better. Because the stack size of these is so small, so trains aren't as good as at moving them around. I can't believe that this is still Factorio, haven't even managed to start a rocket in vanilla. It's a journey. One step at a time. Um, Alright, we got a train delivering some material catalogue. We did add a lot of stations relatively close together to request a whole bunch of new things that are going to be low throughput overall. So I guess this was uh, kind of a peak for the demand for the trains, but also we probably need more. Come to think of it, I'm seeing a lot of empty space in our depots. I'm pretty sure we've got plenty of room uh, for more trains. Let's see. LTN. L, C, 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 L. Goes here, 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 and here. Fantastic. I'll still build that depot down there, I think. Alright, let's get you guys started. I do wish I could automate adding trains to the network as required. This is one of the few things we have to keep an eye on manually. And after a while you sort of think of the trains as being practically infinite, implicitly. Uh, don't want that actually. The uh, depot. I only need to remove the middle part though. Right, I'm going to do a copy paste of this because we're pretty sure we've fixed it. And once our scaffolding is done, we can place that down. Oh, I completely forgot to check on... We did not get an offshore pump. Okay. Let's grab our construction spider number one. I'm just going to edit your logistics directly. If I can remember where we put offshore pump... Here it isn't, actually. Oh, there it is. Alright, grab a stack of those. Well, I actually literally just need one, but that'll be fine. On second thought, I'm going to make sure the bots don't deliver extras. So we're going to drop that by three. All right, so that should give us a constant water supply for these two blocks, especially Holmium. I don't think we were bottlenecking on water at this point, but better to make sure. Still trying to refuel this thing. I think we need more fluid wagons. 
yeah, we're probably... Let's have a look at our... We've got fluids... Okay, no, we've got one, two, three, four, five fluid wagons just waiting for orders. Six. This one... I need to reconnect the power to. Uh, I don't know if our construction spiders still carry... regular old big power poles. But yeah. We need to fix that. We've got dedicated depots for fluid wagons on Nalvis. I decided not to in space because just look at how much space this takes up. Um, what it does is it takes any fluid uh, any fluid that is in this train and outputs it to the appropriate set of pipes. Um, and we've just got a bunch of pumps that will only activate if there's a certain fluid in the train. As many of, as many of them as we could fit in a tight space, which is eight for each cargo wagon. I don't know, there might be too many fluids in space to deal with that as well. Um, fluids, let's see. Where's our combinator? Uh, we're not training steam around, or water I think, or crude oil. Heavy, light, possibly petroleum. I don't think so, though. Sulfuric acid? There's so many, I don't even remember. We're definitely sending that around. One, two, three, at four at least. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, fourteen, fifteen. There's way more fluids then we can programmatically take from the train. Because, because it always leaves fluids lingering in the pipes, uh, I almost think we would have to pump from one train to the other, which kind of defeats the purpose. Or a fluid wagon, anyway. Alright, let's copy our... Our new depot block down here. And I fixed this earlier, but I just want to double check yet again. I believe we do have all of our train emptying system set up properly this time. But do we name the stations correctly? Yes, we do. Fantastic. Okay. So sooner or later, trains are going to come here to stop, and I might just put down another five or ten trains myself, actually. Let's get our... I need them to finish the rail here, actually. I think the scaffolding spiders will have enough. Gotta love the little pause every time we place a signal. Alright, I think I'm already carrying five more trains. Fantastic. Let's head... Uh, there might be a bit of traffic here. Let's head all the way down here to place some more trains in. And what are we waiting on still? We've got our Iridium Plate, we've got our Material Insight, 
We're producing tier one science. We're waiting on heavy girders I wasn't expecting, but also broad catalogs. Uh, broad catalog is this one, which is currently being produced. Fantastic. Heavy girders, I may or may not. Okay, so we're still sending that by cargo rocket. This one is going just where we were looking a second ago. So actually, I think... Yeah. Yeah, the train's coming. Oh, there's our broad catalog right now. Fantastic. So everything we need for tier 2 is already on its way. Uh, comprehensive needs to arrive here before we get tier 3. Do we have comprehensive? We have 348 comprehensive. That's a lot less than we've produced. Where did it go? Probably this place. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure we're not having trouble producing comprehensive right now. Oh, that's right. Radiation shielding and explosion uh, need to catch up. Oh, I should really pay attention when I see those little blue triangles. No train to transport from X to Y. Okay. That's a lot. And it's all now this orbit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we need like 10 more trains, maybe? Which we can place quite easily, since we made a little blueprint. I don't think we're having any trouble keeping up with fluids just yet. Oh, we don't even have the rocket fuel and or nuclear fuel here yet. That's a little bit surprising. Oh, it's on its way. Fantastic. Well, we do have some here, it just hasn't saturated everything yet. Um, and we need it to come from, from this side as well. There we go. Nice. So I might have to... Well, this is how we ended up with five idle trains that I thought were in motion earlier. Um, also, I seem to have miscalculated on how many cargo wagons we're carrying. It should actually be double the locomotives, not four times. Uh, yeah, this is probably exactly how we ended up with five trains that I never switched on. I had to wait for them to get fuel. That is, assuming that it happened while, uh, just after I made a new block. A new depot, that is. Okay, so these two are ready to go. Fantastic. This one is not quite ready to go. We've still got a lot of trains that we need to add to the system. Well, probably 10 will be more than enough. Um, because I don't think we would have to have a train available for each of these simultaneously to get back to having a surplus of trains that'll catch up eventually. But better to add more than we need. Alright, give to me some trains, please. Fantastic. And I'll use one of the older depots to place them this time. I also kind of forgot we could put them here to get them started. Uh, 
I, I started using the blue for the fluid wagons a bit later on. Oh, I don't want to... What color is this? 00255. Very, very simple. Nice. And let's add some more trains. Right about here. Should have two left, I think. One, two. You get to go, and you get to go. Everyone gets to go, because you're already getting fuel. Wait, why did that go yellow? I've never seen a depot go yellow before. Selford Cell, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good stream. I was trying to shout out, and then I did a tab, and it gave me your, uh, your emote. Dorfromantic. Oh, that's that thing with the hexagons, right? I don't really know how that works. I, I sort of mostly don't know how that works yet. Yes, who? Hey, hey, how goes Factorio? Pretty good, actually. Uh, we just refactored all of our... Wait, let me just get this train going before I forget. We, we, are, we are very short on trains, right? Okay, we're not so short on trains right now. I think we overdid it, adding extra trains already, which is great. Uh, we just refactored all of our space science. So, uh, what is it? Astro, energy, bio, and mechanical? Or is it material? Material. Uh, they've all got about the same layout. Uh, and they're all... S we, we don't have tier 4 yet, but we're all set to go for tier 4. We've been hexagoning, indeed. Hexagons are the besticons. This is true. Um, yeah, I think we're on the verge of getting our first tier 3 mechanical science. I, I keep saying mechanical, it's material. Uh, we're still waiting on comprehensive material. Which is still waiting on radiation, which is not waiting on anything. Testing packs. Never enough testing packs. CGP Gravier, I see. He has some good takes. Uh, okay, I know we've got lots of testing packs on Nalvis. Um... We do get a productivity bonuses on the ground with testing packs, but because the stack size is so small, it's actually incredibly expensive sending them up. So I almost wonder all over again if it would be better. Um, these guys are trying to take off, but they're just refueling as fast as they can. Yeah, I think, I think we need more, we need more shuttles for, uh, specifically material testing packs. Oh, that's right, we were going to make them, um, let's get our space ship builder back here. Uh, we're definitely going to make more shuttles for it, but what I also meant was maybe we even need another block to load the, uh, testing packs. Why are we dumping testing packs right now? Maybe I could set that a bit less aggressively. 
We're asking for 12k. This dumps them at 15,360, which is the maximum that fits in here. I don't think we need to change this if we get our four, um, four shuttles. Then they'll always be picking up from here. Testing packs go burr. Okay, fantastic. Oh, is that what I think it is? No, it's ballistic. What we really need is radiation and explosion shielding data. Which are just waiting on testing packs. Hmm. Yeah, the first time I built testing packs, it was in orbit. And then I eventually noticed that, oh, we can build these on the ground, we can get productivity bonuses. But the stack size is so small, I almost think it would be better to build them in orbit. Okay, uh, why are, why are now two of my tabs here? <laughs> nice. Alright, let's build another block here. I'm sure I'm going to use this for something. Maybe even another, I don't, no, we don't need another drop-off for testing packs, I don't believe. Um, since it takes a second to load the trains with these because the stack size is so small. And the way the spaceships tell, like, just drop in and out. And they, they need almost no fuel to take off. Um, I don't think we're going to have that sort of throughput issue. So we just need more shuttles, and maybe, maybe, we'll end up needing more... Uh, another place to load them. Viscount, thank you for the follow. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, brick shuttle. Oh, I need the uh, floor. Let's put that there first, and then this one goes here. This one goes here. I'll just find one of our. Testing pack shuttles. Copy paste. And then. Get rid of the extra wires. This should already be set up correctly. Fantastic. Okay, that's a lot of hard to see through stuff right now. Um. Get rid of that, get rid of that. And this one. I think that's all of them. Okay, so these two should be... probably taking off as soon as they can get refueled. More testing packs are coming from the mall for some reason. Uh, but yeah, we're really not having trouble producing them fast enough. It's just moving them. Oh, and I was going to drop even more trains. That seems like it. I did drop even more trains. We still need some more, but we've got like three down here that I had to wait before sending them because they weren't fueled yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm going to drop another set of trains and then I think that'll probably be enough. Uh, depot is... 
18 trains can park here. And we made a new one, and we had some room for trains. I think we'll be fine. The fact that these are empty right now speaks to that, actually. We don't technically need a place for every train to be able to park. But I would feel better if we did. Let's give them a moment to fuel up. And... Change this back. Are you on the fastest trains? Uh, yes. We've got nuclear fuel. Um, we do have a system to use rocket fuel as a backup. And it'll also... If they are on rocket fuel and then we have nuclear fuel, it will replace it with nuclear fuel only. So basically what we're doing here is reading from the chest, uh, set filters blacklist on this one, so we're only putting a little bit of... We're reading from the chest and then whatever's in it we're not going to pick up from the belt. Um, but then I did something so that we could add more, but I don't see... What the... Okay, that's weird. This combinator right here is... Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is connected to all of these filter inserters. So we're just saving like 31 combinators this way. So the constant combinator says negative 30 and negative 3 for these two different types of fuel. Uh, setting filters on... whether it's setting filters or setting requests, if it's zero or negative it will not set a filter. So if we put a negative for these two, it'll allow us to pick up more of them. So we've got enough here to fill a locomotive uh, with either solid rocket fuel or nuclear fuel. Uh, and then we just say, read what's in the chest, nuclear fuel times negative, effectively the maximum number output. So if there's any nuclear fuel, we're going to output negative 408 solid rocket fuel. And we're setting filters whitelist on uh, this filter inserter right here. So we've got both types of fuel here, but we prioritize using nuclear. And this whole system is just in case we somehow run out of nuclear. Isn't there research for faster trains too? Um, yes and no. There's braking speed, which we've maxed out. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, we only need material too for that. Um, unless we can start using antimatter fuel for trains at some point. But as far as I'm aware, that's not a thing. Oh, did I not send these guys? Let's get them started. Oops. Wait, is it possible I can... No, it's on manual. Okay. I can't copy-paste the settings to make them, uh, make them start going automatic. Alright, I think they're all... I think they're all going. And away they go. And we no longer have any lack... How did you get damaged? Tullaby. Tullaby. There's a... what the... there's a biter. There's a single spitter. What? Oh no. Uh, I think a Bida Media got through. Okay. You know, I could almost just let the Biders clean that up for me. 
Colobi is one of our first outposts, and it's got a whole lot of spaghetti that I would love to replace with the smallest base we possibly can. Um, but yeah, I, I think I won't just let the biters have their way um, with Tullaby, actually. Uh, yeah, this, this planet has biter meteors. And if you ever fail to shoot one down, it's going to spawn biters. Uh, not just spawn biters, but spawn biter spawners. And they happen to land right in our base this time. Are we somehow not shooting down any... This, this isn't actually our media defense system here. Where is our media defense system? The whole point of these things was to consume power, because for, at the at the time I was like burning coal to just get rid of it. Um, but I don't see any media defense installations that we actually use on this planet. When did that happen, and how how has it taken so long for this to happen? If if I, like, accidentally removed all of the media defense installations. Burning coal to get rid of it? Yeah, so there's core mining in this game, which gives you infinite resources, but it gives you some logistical problems to solve. Um, one thing I did early on, which I would not recommend, even if you do want to run this outpost off of nuclear power and your core mining uranium, for example. Uh, why are they being so passive? This is kind of funny. Well, the whole place isn't working right now, so I guess that's why. Um, so, core, core fragment processing, you have to deal with multiple outputs. This is the vanilla core fragment processing. And you do get vanilla cores out of all of the other cores. So at first we crack, uh, we break down uranium core fragments into a few regular ones, a little bit of uranium, and a little bit of stone. After that, we have to turn vanilla core fragments into iron, copper, coal, stone, very small chance of uranium, or a very small throughput of uranium, uh, vulcanite, crude oil, and water. Whenever you have multiple outputs like this, you need to you need to filter them somewhere. Whether whether you put them all on one belt and then use filters, or if you have filter inserters taking from the machines. Uh, but sooner or later, you're going to have to have storage for these things. And if you run out of storage for any one of these, it's going to block the production of all of this stuff. And it's coming from an infinite source. So we do find ourselves in a situation where unless we want to keep building storage until the end of time for each different resource, um, we're going to have to destroy resources uh, in order to make more of different resources. It's a very strange alchemy indeed. Um, I should head over there. Okay. Olubai. I misspelt it. There we go. Sounds super fun. Sad that I keep falling asleep when trying to play this game. Otherwise, I might have tried this mod. Uh, there is a lot for this mod, indeed. We're going to be two minutes game time before we get to Tullabai, but the biters are the biters are destroying our base at a very, very relaxed pace right now. Uh, fortunately, nuclear power doesn't directly produce any pollution, although we don't seem to be doing any of that right now, actually. 
It's literally all just solar power because the whole thing is stopped somehow. I do want to deconstruct all of this spaghetti. Um, much, much, much better to send the core fragments back to our first planet, Nalvis. Process everything there and send back what we need. Even if it does cost a bit more energy or resources to to do the logistics back and forth. I wonder why... I guess this is the most military thing we've got in the general vicinity. Is the reason why this spitter is attacking the media defense installation specifically. It probably works like a turret in some way, that's how they modded it in. Okay, we're 90 seconds out in our basic, basic shuttle. I should really make an updated one of these. What were we doing before we were so rudely interrupted? Oh, that's right, placing more trains into the network. Uh, this one... These are already going. Did I drop some more that I didn't get started yet? This one's on automatic. Oh, that's right, we did solve the problem of having enough trains up here, and that's when I noticed something was under attack that shouldn't be. Okay. I do want to check on our progress for... Uh, tier 3 material science. We're just waiting on comprehensive. Theoretically, that should all happen by itself, but usually when I assume something like that, something is quietly broken somewhere. We still don't have enough testing packs? Okay. 1.8k... 4k... How much have we produced lately? Shielding data. Uh, we've had a little spike for radiation shielding data and explosion shielding data in the last 10 minutes. Okay, that's fine. Almost there. What else should we be working on? How's our Holmium looking? Not great. Um, is it being made here? It is not. It's no Holmium. There's a bunch of it here. Oh, we're picking it up right now. I'm beginning to think we need... We either need to somehow be way more aggressive about how we refuel our spaceships here, or we might even actually need another block that will accept uh, Holmium core fragments. If we've finished, we have not finished mining this yet. We've finished it on this side. Let's get this train out of here. Why is this train hot? I think I need to... Missing required fluid. Oh. Oh, I never actually got the instruction spiders to pay a visit here. They're very close by right now. Um, but yeah, I think I set it up so that this would end up in all of the cargo wagons. That's good. As soon as this uranium has been hoovered up, I want to... I think I want to copy this block. Well, I want to copy the top left of it, at the very least. Uh, down to here. So we'll have two places that 
Wait, we're not even using these two yet. Why don't I just... Why don't I just have one or two more um, pickups for Pulmonite? On the other hand, I want to keep the distance that the bots have to travel as short as possible. Um, because the shorter they're... Bots have extremely high throughput if they only have to travel very short range. Uh, the longer they have to go, the slower they get. But, on the other hand, it is just the one block right here. Maybe that wouldn't be so bad. Maybe also... Yeah, I'm not sure. How many other core fragments am I going to be dropping off here? We've already got all of the exotics. Um, copper, coal, we're gonna have iron here at some point, but the more I think about it, I really don't see the harm in having the Holmanite ships drop off here as well. There's probably one in orbit right now waiting to drop off more. Can't really select it right now though. Oh, is this it? It's just arriving now. I thought I made another uh, Via Terra ship. I did. Are we keeping up with this? We are not. Okay. I think we should we should go up to like maybe six ships for this, and we'll have two drop offs. But first, uh, let's put on our power armor. Let's not be too surprised that somehow the batteries drained while we weren't looking. Charge this up a little bit, and then we'll pay the biters a visit. I need to figure out where to land as well. Oh, there's plenty of places. I think this will delete the copper. Not that I care too much, but may as well not do that. Um, let's not land too close to the biters with our precious ship, actually. And add some lasers. Tesla gun is ready. Don't think we'll be needing that, but may as well. Fantastic. Oh, you're alive. Wait, what are my lasers doing? Nothing, apparently. Oh, because just moving that fast drained all my batteries because energy shields do that. Okay. Uh, in that case... There is one thing I want to do while I'm here. That is... Oh, I think we did run out of ammo. Wait, no, we didn't even have the guns to use them. Well, it may have been both. Uh, how much ammo? 321 media defense installation ammo. Okay, that's... How dare you. Uh, that's going to be fine for a stopgap. Um, I'll just put it nice and close to this Logi network here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's go six. Why can't I put the... oh, I see. I messed that up somehow. Let's add some inserters. And inserters. And 
and request a chest. I've got a bunch of media ammo I can drop off from my spaceship as well, I think. Although it probably is all spread apart. Oh, I actually don't. Never mind. Do we have enough of these here already? Yes, good. Fantastic. Alright, I'm sure we have enough power. We've got a nuclear plant. Or three. Two, actually. Probably enough solar to feed it as well. Wait. Uh, minor detail. We need to... We need to make sure these things have power. The inserters in particular. There we go. Alright. That should... I should clear out Tullabay while I'm here. The planet is so very, very small. Um... I don't need this many energy shields. If I use the exoskeletons, I don't think it drains energy shield. I could be wrong. But yeah, there was actually a patch to space exploration. Uh, so that we're now able to clear out a planet of biters and then run a check that they're actually extinct. Uh, and then we're able to... Uh... Okay, that's just rude. No energy shields for now. Uh, we're able to confirm hostile extinction and then once we do that the biter threat is reduced to zero, or one percent if there's biter meteors. But more importantly, when we trim the surface, the biters aren't going to reappear, which is what happened here previously. After we did clear out the planet. Okay, I might just um, start scanning Tullabai, actually. That's going to help us find everything. Still going to search in person what's in front of me. I should probably use some more jetpack. There we go. Don't expect to find anything on this island, just based on having cleared it before. Oh, I've got my spider. That's much better. At least as long as we're just walking across a continent. Alright, let's head over this way. I should probably put some power armor stuff in the spider. Instead of bonus legs. Uh, couple of shields. And some lasers. Alright, put the giant robot spider in my pocket, fly across the water with it, pop back in, and go. Should have brought some rockets, it's the only thing we can put in the spider. Sounds super fun, sad that I... oh, right. Um... Let's see. 
So this is actually, like, that's the middle of the planet right there. That's how small this moon is. So it won't take a whole lot of time to clear out the biters. And I don't think we're going to encounter anything that we can't kill just by dancing around with lasers as well. Speaking of which... Since I'm sitting inside the spider, I don't need any shields. But the lasers will actually work from inside a vehicle, oddly enough. Alright, how's our science looking? Uh, we're still waiting on comprehensive catalog. Let me guess, we're still waiting on shielding data. I don't speak French. Okay. Kidoki. That makes two of us. Uh, what do we got here? We're still missing testing packs. Why? Testing pack. I think I forgot to name. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, they're trying to take off right now. They just need to refuel. Um, but I almost forgot to name them. Testing Pack Shuttle 3. And... Oh, this is number one, actually. Okay. Uh, where'd the other one go, then? I need to find the one spaceship that we've got with a generic name. Uh, we've got a few now. Eris? I think this is it. Testing pack. There we go. The testing pack shuttle 4. Now why are you... what are you doing right now? Trying to go to Nalvis. Okay, good. It's just waiting its turn. It's waiting for these two to get out of the way. Which happens once they've got enough fuel and then they'll swap places. Okay, so hopefully that makes enough of a difference to how fast we're moving uh, testing packs, but I suspect the bottleneck of just pumping liquid rocket fuel through these pipes is going to be significant enough that we should actually make another one, another loading area for these. Because it's not actually liquid rocket fuel production that we're struggling with. Um, it's actually going quite well. It's literally just how long it takes to pump this stuff into... And this thing is full again already. Okay. Normally it takes a while and it is a ton of stuff to fill one of these... Oh, I should check on the planet full of frightening enemies. That might be a good idea. Wait, I didn't already do this, did I? Oh, I did. Confirm hostile extinction. This is as low as threat can get here. So we just had an incredibly unlucky... Um... Wait, no, I forgot. I, I forgot that we actually somehow dismantled our media defenses. I don't know when that would have happened. Oh well, uh, let's head back to our spaceship. Maybe I should go to the trouble of dismantling this stuff now. Uh, we do have the new build of uh, cannons and receiver satellites. Well, not satellites. Um, receiver dishes, so that we can send we can send everything we need back and forth by cannon. Then again. 
No, this is fine. We haven't actually set up a uranium core fragment ship yet because um, because we've got three planets with uranium core fragments in the system. One of the one of which we haven't tapped yet. And we haven't been struggling with uranium for a long time. I should probably check on the supply, though. Oh, we, we're even storing uranium ore again. Okay, so that's not a problem at all. I don't even need to fix this right now. Um, but just for the sake of cleaning things up, at some point I would like to deconstruct all the crap we've got on this planet and reduce it to just the smallest... Um, smallest little outpost we can... Those are biters. That's... You're not supposed to be here. Is this another biter medium? Oh wow, they're everywhere. Slight exaggeration, but compared to what I expected, uh... Yeah, I think I need to... I, I think I need to patrol this whole island and make sure. Not a fan of the dark patch. Wish we could take that back. Alright, let's make sure we... cover the entire island. And find any biters. I don't think we'd be failing to notice if they were over here. Okay. Yeah, it's always just testing packs. Okay, uh, let's get our construction spiders. Oh, we fixed this thing. I forgot about that. That's good. We'll be getting rid of that uranium eventually. I'll send them back to the mall to make sure they're resupplied. And then over here, I think we'll start building some more shuttle blocks. Actually, we could do some down here. Oh, I see why I haven't done that yet. That's fine. Don't want to connect those robo networks. Um, okay, so I think we should... That was quick. And then... Copy-paste that here. And... Here. And I'll name this station appropriately. Hmm. I don't think that's working the way I had in mind. Half the bots are going to go to this drop or uh, pick up, and half the bots are going to go to this one. Yeah. But the real problem right now is just we can't refuel the ships fast enough. So it might be good to have two of those here. Okay. Where are we? Oh, we're stuck. Well, I don't see any biters here. Um, let's just use the satellite view. Might be a bit quicker. Since our attempt at automation ran into a little snag. Okay. I'm going to head back to the spaceship. 
And I might just trim this planet again. As small as it is, it does reduce the uh, save file size. Let's give you your legs back. And Tolibai. Uh, trim surface. That didn't take long. That was by far the quickest trim surface I've ever seen. Alright, so I have to remember to come back here and sort things out before we run out of media defense installation ammo in this place. Which is going to take a while, but it will happen. Elvis Orbit. Let's go. Oh, no. I don't think it's going to take off. Yeah, too much container stress because we have a Spidertron. But if I shove it in my pocket, it's totally fine. Away we go. Beautiful. I sort of can't believe how much trouble we're having moving all of this holmium. Maybe I should use cannons and spaceships. Or maybe... I don't know. It's probably better to just use a lot of cannons. Like we've got set up on Pentium. I think we were actually... It seems we've now saturated our... Vita Melange core fragments, which is fantastic. I don't know why this wasn't connected. Probably because of a copy-paste which sometimes doesn't include the wiring. I don't need to send those trains back, I'll just let them stay there for now. Um, what are you doing? Oh, I see. Oh, I think we got a similar problem here. So LTN doesn't know what's in these chests, so it thinks they're empty. Where else could this have happened? I wonder. Oh, found another one. Okay then. Anybody else? Yes? What is happening? Alright, we haven't actually uh, saturated our Holmanite core fragments, so that one didn't turn out to be a problem yet. Uh, Cryonite. Cryonite also doesn't have a connection here. Let's make sure it's connected to the right thing. Fantastic. What's going on up here? This is actually fine. Um, oh, down here. Since we're doing a lot of copy-pasting with these uh, that have the exact same layout, that's not too surprising. Nice. Uranium core fragments go burr. And... And you're slowly, slowly filling up with uranium. Okay, cool. I need to get this guy back to... Actually, I'm just going to leave this train here until it's time to pack this all up. And then I'll turn the pumps around. Send it back to the depot. Construction spiders are just about reaching their destination now. Let's drop in... a new block for... Uh, testing packs. And whatever else we're going to put in there. Brick shuttle pickup station goes here. I'm gonna have to wait till they put the spaceship floor down before I can place these rocket booster tanks um, for some reason. You can actually place them on scaffolding in orbit, but for some reason if you want them to 
just be used as a container on the ground. You have to place them on uh, spaceship floor tiles. Okay. Clap, clap. Takes such a short time to load these shuttles of everything but rocket fuel. Well, for the testing packs, that is. Okay, let's try this again. Now that we've got our floors. Uh, this goes here. And for some reason this wire isn't connected. Maybe I should update the blueprint now. Okay. This one... Oh, we haven't added... Yeah, 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 it's definitely time to... update this blueprint a bit. Um, so this is gonna go here. I think. Wait, what is this doing here? Oh, we did the, we did change the layout of that a little bit. Oh, that's right, because this was connecting to the robo network, and we're not doing it that way now. Okay, cool. Um, so we're gonna put our pylons here. And those are just going to read the contents of these chests and deliver them to these train stations so that we know how much we've got. And this side as well. Make sure they're all connected. Fantastic. Uh, can I actually just copy paste flip to do the other side? Or is it going to be a little bit different? It's only a little bit different with the middle part, which I actually kind of remember noticing. I think I'll bring this over. I do want it closer to the spaceships. And it's more consistent with everything else. Um, but for now, I'll just put that there. Oh, I actually didn't want to connect this like that because it looks weird. Let's move that connection. Fantastic. And this goes here, this goes here, and this goes there. Let's get rid of the unnecessary wires. Can't see one there. I think I just removed it actually. No wire spaghetti. No. I think we got it all. Nice. Okay. Is this switched on? Yeah, it is. I'm surprised we don't have a train coming. We might already have a train coming to deliver this. We've started to see some of the LTN lights not switching on when there's a train coming sometimes. But currently there's no path for the train to deliver because we haven't finished this roundabout. Fantastic. And then this one, please. 
And what else have I forgotten, if anything? So we've got the filter set to fish as an example and to keep any random stuff out. Um, we've got the requests and everything. Blacklist goes, I mean whitelist goes here. Um, I think we're ready to update our blueprint. I'm happy to have those switched on for the blueprint. Uh, let's go brick shuttle, pick up, select new contents, start from here, all the way down to here, and save. Beautiful. Now, uh, I'm just going to copy... that's not what I meant to copy. I'm just going to copy our settings for the testing packs over here. And same goes for the station. Uh, what was our limit for testing packs? We're probably not setting it high enough. You missed wires on four chests, I believe. Uh, at, at the two middle. Wires on four chests. Oh yeah, you're right. Thank you. Uh, that means I have to either undo all of this or... I think I'll just keep that mistake in the blueprint and fix it next time. I'll notice it whenever I have to update the filter on this thing anyway. Okay. Uh, if testing pack is equal to full. Where is our... There you are. Spaceship builder. Let's drop some new brick shuttles in here. Actually, I was going to say we don't even need them, but it definitely can't hurt. Gonna copy paste this so we have all the settings. And copy paste this to here. We have many wires to disentangle. Uh, is that all of them? Almost. There we go. And you also... Oh, I can't. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is... Uh, testing pack shuttle uh, 5. And testing pack shuttle 6. So that'll leave room for four of them to be landed here and two of them to be outputting at orbit all at the same time, which is probably more than enough. Maybe I should set the... If we're seeing empty liquid rocket fuel tanks, but we've always got some available here, I've already set the priority on these ones high. Uh, maybe I need to set the priority on the liquid rocket fuel drop-offs to be higher. That might do it. And these ones especially. Wait, something changed that I... What do we got? 100k, 600k, 661. Oh, okay, yeah, by putting this here, the order changed. Yeah, okay, cool. 
Alright, so testing pack, testing pack. Where have you been? Uh, 12k. Okay, this is weird. Do we not have enough trains? I'm not seeing any alerts that we don't have enough trains. Every time I've checked on testing packs over here today, it's been completely saturated. I think we need... Oh, yeah. Considering it how long it takes uh, to load these trains, I think I should have set the train limit much, much higher. Although that hasn't, like... That hasn't been a bottleneck yet, because... The bottleneck that we just fixed was uh, getting the rocket fuel into the into the shuttles because they're making trips so very very often. This is loaded already. It's just waiting for its chance to leave. Apparently, there's a bit of traffic. Okay. Um, let's send the construction spiders back home. And I think while we're here, we'll drop the tiles, uh, the spaceship floors, for as many new shuttles as we can since that tends to be the thing that we struggle to carry enough of to build these things. Alright, that's the end of that. And I'll do one more. What the... to the mall with you. Fantastic. Okay, uh, and that is just about going to wrap it up for today. I'm a little sad we didn't actually get to see uh, our first tier 3 material science, especially considering we've definitely produced enough catalogs to make that happen. Um, but with the new setup, a lot of those catalogs got turned into Material Insight, which is going to be a lot more efficient in the long run, but for now it leaves us uh, a little sad that we don't have our, our catalogs. We're just waiting on... No, we're actually still waiting on both of these. How is it taking so long? 4.8k, it's still testing packs. We get one testing pack for every four... Sorry, we get one shielding data for every four material testing packs. Um, 10 times 48 times 32. 15,360, I think that's how much we bring in the shuttle every time. Uh, so divide that by four. This could give us 3,840. Wow, so it actually takes uh, more than two shuttles just to get one train load of uh, explos explosion shielding data. And it's the exact same ratio for radiation shielding data as well. Ouch. Uh, but once we do get one train load of that, we're going to have one train load of uh, tier 3 catalog. Okay, uh, let's see who is streaming probably Factorio for today. and give him a raid. We've 
got tumbling satellite. Why not? Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And uh, let's drop in on tumbling. Have a good day. Take care, Ian Newer. Thanks for hanging out. All right. Away we go. Loads and loads of landfill. Hey, Tyrannosaurus, how you doing? Holy cow. Okay, that's how you're doing. All right, uh, that's one way to start the, the stream. How are you? How did the factory go? Thank you very much for the raid. How goes the factory? <laughs> you absolute sausage. Welcome on in, everybody. Good start indeed. Good, very good start indeed. You're joining us right at the beginning of the stream. Hey, Cora XT. Um... You're joining us right at the beginning, as we are starting to design our monolithic space science. What do I mean by monolithic? Well, the principle of this factory 